welcome to Co-Selling, The Bridge to New Buyers. I'm Akbar Hassan, Senior Director of Business Development, and I lead the New Buying Centers Co-Selling Group as part of Global Partner Transformation within the Global Partner Sales Organization. Today, we'll discuss the market momentum behind co-selling. We'll also talk about some practical wins and examples. And lastly, we'll talk about how you can engage in co-selling today. So, market momentum. I don't think that there is any secret in the fact that more and more decisions around IT spending are being made outside of the IT organization, right? So these are what we consider new buying centers. So what are some examples of new buying centers? Could be line of business buyer, like chief manufacturing officer, could be an app modernization buyer, right? Such as DevOps. Typically, these buying centers are now controlling and influencing 82% of the total IT spend globally. What does that mean? Conversations that are being had with those new buyers are being had with these types of ecosystem partner roles, right? So you've got conversations going left to right with these types of partners, but you've also got conversations going up and down both within the customer and the partners, right? Because the partners are now co-selling with each other. And that's what we refer to as co-selling. So what does this mean within the customer? The conversations as you go up the stack are happening more and more like this. So you might have the chief you know, nursing officer really, really be concerned about working smarter and improving clinical workflows, which may translate to an application, which then needs to be enabled by IT. So as you can tell, all these personas have to talk to each other, which means that all the partners have to talk to each other and they form a co-selling ring. And the more we're part of this ring, the more we get access to all layers of that IT spend and we can drive our own individual IP and our own solutions and create true business outcomes for the customer. So that's a great thing. What's an example? Here's a real win example. So Cisco got together with these partners on the left, right on the left of this, uh, of this win graphic, and we won about $20 million in this top 10 grocery store chain across the United States. That's a pretty big win, right? But the buying centers that made that decision were off to the right, right? So it was like the chief marketing officer and the security officer. And it's, it's typically non-IT buyers that were discussed, right? You have the call center VP, involved because they're trying to figure out how they can deliver uh, the groceries and how they can do contactless pickup. So it was a very, very interesting deal, but this is just one example of many. Across the globe, our top ecosystem partners are selling with our top channel partners, right? So not everyone is getting this, but everyone is starting to get this. So the faster you are to adopting co-selling, the more you can access those 15 industries from healthcare to education, to manufacturing, et cetera, right? Multiply your customer and deal base and drive up your sales deal multiplier. This is really important. That three X that I'm showing is average, right? That deal that we just showed for the grocery store chain was a 30 X deal. So if we had gone in alone, we each would have been looking at 30 times less uh, the deal size. The value of selling with these ecosystem partners is huge. You get to access new buying centers, engage in the conversation earlier. You absolutely get to use their sales team to drive this ring all the way around. The most important thing is though, you get to establish your brand preference in areas in the account that maybe didn't know, you know, what you were, right? What you were as a partner, what you were as Cisco. So it's very, very, very powerful. So our sales leader in our sales meeting actually amp amp amplified these four areas of customer care about, specifically for Cisco. 
right? Reimagining their applications, power and hybrid network, transforming the infrastructure and securing the enterprise. The most interesting thing about all of this is the new buyer section. Look underneath each of them. You'll see as an example, the chief HR officer in the upper right hand uh, corner in the green square, CHRO. And that's super, super important as you're trying to access and identify how you're going to enlarge in your deals. The one thing we have to do as a collaborative sales team amongst all of us across partners and even across Cisco sales team is move from the left to the right. We've got to stop looking at accounts for single product solution deals. We've got to move to the right, line up our sales force, have multiple conversations at the customer, right? And increase that deal size. This of course leads to enormous benefits, larger deals. We talked about competitive takeouts, right? Which was absolutely the grocery store situation, adoption, renewals, but most importantly, you become more than just a solution provider. You become a customer transformation catalyst within that account. And that's a beautiful thing. In summary, IT spending has shifted relative to decision-making outside of IT. Deals are at least three times larger. You're gonna reach new buyers, build your own co-selling team. Super, super, super important. Expand your brand preference. What we're doing at Cisco is expanding our digital capability with the work span to drive more collaboration and metrics. We're highlighting more and more of these wins for our own sales teams, okay? And letting them really understand the value to all the sellers. So as a call to action, I encourage you to visit these three places where you can discover how the new buying centers are operating and what their care abouts are. You can actually look up all of our win stories and you can actually log in to a new online system we've got called Partner Connect to help you find your next co-selling partner. I'm Mark Barasan and co-selling, it is a big deal.